Okay, here we go again. We've got the direct vent fireplace that the pilot will not stay lit. So, how do you take the thing apart? Direct vent fireplaces are sealed off. They do not use any room combustion air. All the air exchange is done in a heat exchanger. The cold, fresh air comes in from outside through the pipe. My case is in the wall. It could be a, you know, a top vent or a rear vent or a side vent. Direct vent. So this, you have a door. And that door is usually screwed on, and then usually you have trim that goes around. So it just kind of sits on there. There's magnets. So you take the trim off. Access your screws. Uh, in my case, I have Phillips screws. You take them off. Now your door is loose. Okay. So. You want to be very careful, this glass is expensive, this is ceramic glass, not normal glass. If your glass breaks, you cannot replace it with normal glass. You cannot use tempered glass, you must use ceramic or neo-serum glass, which can take up to about 1200 degrees. A lot of radiant energy coming from this. So as I said before, you got a heat exchanger, <clears throat> essentially it's a box, a metal box within a box, that's zero clearance fireplace. So this can be installed in a combustible frame box, which you have here. This is a wood frame box around a fireplace. So essentially you have your logs, they burn with gas, and then as those logs get hot, the walls absorb the heat. Cool air comes in from the bottom, comes out the top naturally. You don't even need a fan. Um, these fireplaces are great. I am using this particular fireplace as a backup to an electric heat. My power goes out, my fireplace will automatically turn on. It's on a thermostat and it will run and heat this cabin that we happen to be in. So normally it's running on electricity, but if the power goes out, I have a backup. So that's the thing about gas fireplaces. They're good for that. This is actually an LPG, liquid petroleum gas. That's what LPG stands for. So, anyhow, you lift this like this, and then lift it off. Now, it's important, a lot of times your um, glass will turn white, so you'll have to clean that off on the inside. You can see the gasket that I'm talking about. It's very important that this is tight and that you have all your screws in when you're running it, because there's absolutely, again, no air being exchanged, no combustion air, any exchange between that burner and this rub. It's a closed loop system, which means this can be installed legally in a fire, or this fireplace can be installed legally in a bedroom, which a lot of fireplaces cannot. So you cannot legally install a wood burning fireplace in a bedroom. Why? Because it can deplete the oxygen supply in the room. You cannot legally install a B vent fireplace in a bedroom. Why? Because it can deplete the oxygen level in the room. So, no oxygen is used when this fireplace is not running. It, it's all within the system. So, anyhow, we're going to move this. Next, you have logs. These are ceramic. They go in a certain way. You don't put them in. You can't rearrange them. You can't say, well, I want this guy over here. I want this guy over here. If you do that, you'll get all kinds of problems. They literally, they spend a lot of time putting these together. So you'll get black and uh, um, carbon buildups, all that if you change your burner configuration. So you need to remove these guys. Be very, very careful with them. They're delicate. So now you can see the pilot assembly that I was telling you about right there. Burner tube. <coughs> so the burner tube fits in. There's all kinds of configurations. I put my hand here, I can feel cold air coming in. This is what feeds the fire. And that's coming in to feed this combustion too. So, a couple of things. We have an orifice here. If it's LPG or gas, they're different. Same thing with your pilot assembly. Cannot use natural gas um, and or LPG as the same. The orifices are different, so if you change out your um, pilot assembly, you make sure that you specify whether it's natural gas or LPG. Um, otherwise, your pilot will be too big or too small, and it won't function properly. So, 
Anyhow, what we're going to do now is <clears throat> disassemble this whole thing, pull out the gas valve, pull this apart, and put everything back together, and I'll show you what and how everything goes together. Hopefully when we put it back together, everything should work. One of the things that I did was I used a generic pilot assembly off of actually a different uh, manufacturer. If you look at it, it's identical. I mean, there is nothing different about it. So this is a Kingman pilot assembly. This is a Napoleon pilot assembly. What really matters is the valve. Um, and this is a Sitnova 820. You have to have that Sitnova 820, it's a fast acting valve. You have to have the fast acting thermopile or thermocouple. Um, those are the main things that are critical. Other than that, all the stuff is pretty much the same. Napoleon doesn't make their own stuff. Travis Industries, all the various manufacturers do not make the valves, do not make pilot assemblies. So don't be wigged out if your dealer can't sell it to you. Believe it or not, you can walk into a hardware and store and generally find thermal piles and thermal couples that will work for your fireplace. <clears throat> so you have to identify your valve. That's your most important thing. Okay, we have the valve out. Um, as you can see, this is what it looks like. This is the pilot that I was telling you about. It pushes in. And you push it and you hold it and then the pilot will burn. You let it off and it should continue to go. You should be able to turn this to on and the pilot should stay running. So that's what's going on right now with this valve. It's not working. <clears throat> so we're determining why not. So a couple of things I was telling you about earlier on how it works, um, your safety mechanisms. You have these electrical connectors here um, where the thermocouple, the thermopile is connecting to <coughs> these screws, generating the electricity that it takes to actually run the valve. So you have a winding and a diaphragm that's running on millivant volts. <clears throat> and it's a magnet, so when it's charged, it opens up, allows the gas to go through. Mm -hmm. 